Prior to moving the appliance in, we want to make sure that the niche meets all of the specified requirements. Uh, for this particular model, FIABA has indicated that the niche should be 23 and 5 8 inches wide by 84 inches high by 27 and a half inches deep. So we're going to check first that everything is uh, true and level uh, because that will make uh, installing the, the panels later uh, much easier. So we check for level at the front. Looks good. Check for level at the side. Also looks good, so we're lucky. The cabinet maker has done a good job. Niche width at 23 and 3 quarters. Niche depth at 27 and a half. And niche height right around 84 inches. So we're all good. For this particular unit, uh, we needed 27 and a half inches depth. Uh, FIABA recommends not having your shutoff valve for your water behind the appliance, uh, and also recommends that you don't have your electrical connection directly behind the appliance as well, in the case that you ever need to unplug it or to shut off the water. In this case, we didn't have that luxury, and the uh, electrical locate is behind the appliance, so we've had to put in a recessed outlet. Uh, which will allow us to plug the unit in without any interference when we push the unit back in place. Uh, also, take note of the quarter inch water line. Uh, it's a polyethylene and because of the adapter, we don't need any additional uh, plumbing or brass inserts. It will go into a John Guest connector uh, and will be leak free.